This is Two Chicks Talking Flicks, where we review movies, love them or hate them. Someone's got to do it. So enjoy the show. Hi, I'm Sarah, and this is Two Chicks Talking Flicks and anything else that gets in the mix. And I am joined today by Cass and Meredith of The Clopin Effect. Hi, ladies. Hi. Hi. How's it going? It's going great. Um, So how are you ladies today? Good. Thanks so much for finally having us on. We've been talking about this for months and then I kind of blew her off. Like we would talk, <laughs> we would talk to messages. I'm like, we have to be on your show. Well, you know, I take a lot of vacations. So. <laughs> I, the world traveler of Florida. It is. <laughs> yes. And, and if then you I finally ha- went what? down to Texas and mm-hmm. saw you. Yes. Yes. And that was we it. Met up. We met in person. Did we had so fun. fun? I know I was jealous of that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come to Texas and we can hang out too. I'll be there. I got people down in Texas. There's I'll be there. Plenty of bars. Yeah. Plenty yeah. of places we can go. That's my favorite. What place are you saying? She's a drinker? No. <laughs> my favorite place to be. We all know. We all know. I just know she likes to party. You know, yeah. on a on a like a Thursday a night, not a great night to party, but like Friday, I probably could have partied, you know? Yeah. <laughs> So if anybody haven't heard any of my episodes where I mentioned you guys, what is your podcast or podcasts yeah, about? Yeah, we actually have two now. Yeah. So go ahead. You want to talk about the Clopin first? Okay. So Clopin is a funny retail podcast uh-huh. and we talk a lot about retail stuff and then obviously a lot of other stuff too. So, you know, that was our first podcast yep. and we've had it for two years now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. How many episodes do we have? 128 episodes. 128 Woo. episodes. Yep, yeah. yep, in over two years. Yeah, so we talk about all sorts of things. And it's basically, if if you work any sort of customer service, mm-hmm. you can relate to this 100%. So. 100%. Agree. It's basically 100% real stories most of the time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we laugh off all the drama and the stress of working retail. Yeah, and I sing a lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> I enjoy that. What was your last one? Kenny Rogers. Yeah. Yeah. And then our second one is we call it AMP or it's anxiety makes me poop. Mm -hmm. And on online, on the socials, it's very funny. There's some funny memes. There's a lot of memes that you can relate to about having anxiety, stress, life. And the actual podcast is a little more serious. And so we're only on about episode six, but Cass was on. She talked about, you know, childhood and our friend Kevy was on and talked about different things. And there's always a lesson at the end as well. So we have the, and, and it's fun. That one's, it's lighthearted. Yeah. It's like a yeah. lighter, it's a lighter look into life's heavier topic. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. so we all have backgrounds. We all are the way we are because of what happened. Trauma. You know? Yeah, basically <laughs> trauma. And so we kind of talk about it and laugh about it. And we're really having a great time on both. Yeah. I always say the way I deal with my anxiety and or childhood trauma is with laughter. So Yeah. So we're doing it with both podcasts. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. And I'm yeah. an avid listener of both. I've listened to all of them, all the episodes. So anybody who has ever worked in retail, it will definitely crack you up. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> well, thanks for listening to all so of them. Funny. You caught up quick. Well, yeah. I mean, I've I've been listening since, it's been probably over a year, I think. Oh, oh good. Oh, yeah. yeah, we did talk about that. We were trying to figure yeah. out how we connected online. Don't we were remember, trying to figure but, that out over dinner. We can't remember, but yeah. it has. It's been about a year or so. Yeah. It's, been, it's been great. Yeah, I've loved it because uh, I worked, oh, dear God, since I was 16 and I'm almost 40. Yeah. Uh, for Except for like maybe six years in there, I've worked retail that entire time. Oh, and uh, yeah, it's, it's deep in it. not for the faint of heart. No, I loved sure. your la- I think it was the last episode of the 40 podcast about mm-hmm. talking about the toys that we yes. had when we were younger. Oh, their guest was talking about different dolls and, you know, like oh, the different gosh. games. And that one was really neat. The nostalgia. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. She brought a whole bunch too. I was trying to vision, you know, envision what she brought <laughs> over while you were talking about it, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. And um, Sarah's your host, right? It's Sarah and Sarah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she like surprised us with uh, a couple of My Little Ponies, a oh, um, yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, um, a strawberry short. Well, it wasn't strawberry shortcake. I thought it was, but it was actually a sherry cherry. It oh. was, <laughs> but like I smelt it and I swear to God, yeah. I smelt my childhood. Oh, it, was, wow. it was so visceral. It was insane. 
I'll tell you what, if you guys um, stream, right? Everybody streams nowadays. Mm-hmm. Who pays for cable? <laughs> <laughs> um, Tubi is a free one you can oh, download, yeah. and it is amazing for like 1980s, early Ooh. 90s shows. They have Elf. They have My <gasps> Little Pony. They have all sorts. Last night, I fell asleep watching Matlock. Okay, that was I, a favorite of mine growing up. I'll I admit it. I love Elf. I yeah. loved it. I'm sure I think it will be stupid if I try to watch it now, but yeah, it's a that. little, yeah, a little slapstick, but you yeah. know, we thought it was hilarious when we were kids and like with TGIF when we were growing up, how great was TGIF growing up? And it was like full house and I, dinosaurs. Do you remember dinosaurs mm-hmm. that was on Disney plus? Oh my God. Love that show. Yes, I'm actually almost done with my watch of full house. It was TV oh, up and it was like, and then you can start watching Fuller House. House. Oh, Fuller House. Yeah, Fuller House. That was What's happening? Oh my God, love that show. Is that you? It's not me. It was TV. Are you playing up, the video that like, you just were recording? Oh. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I was Snapchatting. <laughs> Good job, Merida. <laughs> like, what's happening? Why do I hear this conversation twice? <laughs> I forget that you can hear everything. Oh, so my phone must be on Bluetooth. Yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> and we can't hear it. We can't Here. hear it. <laughs> oh, no. No, that'll, that'll set everything oh. up. Oh, <laughs> goodness. Okay, sorry. <laughs> anyway. It's all right. That was fun. Good thing you have till Friday to edit this. <laughs> I might just keep that in because that I was yeah, great. I just wasted all the fun stuff. <laughs> sorry about that it is quite all right i was just like what is happening i was like i didn't I'm touch so a echoey. damn thing over here <laughs> why does cats keep repeating the same thing over and over again we get it <laughs> i do uh, do that <laughs> oh that was fun all right so we are have you on because this movie that we're reviewing is employee of the month yeah, and it's it. at a big box store which you both met at yeah. And um it like I've worked at Target and I worked at Walgreens and this is so <laughs> spot on. It's yeah. scary. Yeah. It is. It is. So it's for I was actually you guys. surprised when I was okay. doing some research that it didn't get all that many stars. Mm-hmm. I think it's a brilliant movie. Well, that's because we can relate. Okay. <laughs> yes. It's true. Right now. That has to be. Like I was like ten stars. Yeah. People didn't like the acting. They didn't like, and I was like, what? How can and you it, not yeah. love this? This is like true. I mean, it's all, I mean, obviously it's goofy, right? You know, yeah. it's just a comedy, but it is true retail. Some of the things that they do, I'm like, wow, that is really funny. The first thing I said was um, Dane Cook wearing wheelies. Yeah. Right? Right. Through the store. Wheelies were so popular. Because what, that movie came out in like 2004, yeah. I think. Yes. Yeah. 2006. Six, 2006. 2006. Yeah. October mm-hmm. 2006. Because the card they were giving away was a newish 2005 yeah. Chevy, Chevy Malibu. Malibu. Yeah. <laughs> newish. <laughs> newish. Newish. <laughs> that reminds that's me. That's so good. I worked um, for this place and it was basically a timeshare place. And this was in, I don't know, 2002, 2003, somewhere around there. And um, we were giving away a 1999 Chevy Tahoe. Oh, gosh. wow. That was a big prize. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. I don't think they ever gave that thing away. <laughs> no. Nobody ever won it. It's still sitting there. <laughs> yeah. Like is it because people would like win but they would just take the cash buyout? They were like, We don't want the car, just I give think us the cash. So like like I, on price was right. I worked there for just a couple of weeks and I don't think oh, anybody yeah. had ever won the car ever. That is so funny. <laughs> yeah. It that was is crazy. so funny. Nobody did, wanted uh, did, it. Did you ever have employee of the month or any contest like they ran in the movie? I've never had. I it. never had. No. We had something similar at Target. Um, basically, you would get these cards, and um, like, let's just say yeah. I saw you helping a customer, and I thought you did a great yeah. job. I'd be like, uh, Meredith was really great today, and she helped this lady find the tampons or whatever. And then, <laughs> um, if you got so many cards, your uh, you got put into a drawing to win like a Starbucks yes. card or whatever. We did have oh, that. Oh yeah, we did have that. Remember? So you could you could get all these cards with the store director's signature on it and put it into a fishbowl, but still not win. Right. Yeah, because Correct. the person that only got one card was always because lu- I was Correct. never lucky for that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah, I yeah. think I wo- I worked at 
uh, Target for four years, I may have won once or twice. Yeah. Mm, you know what I my problem was is I, I saved yeah. up all my cards wanting to put all of them in there at <laughs> once. And then they stopped doing it. Mm, oh, mm, I remember that. that. And then I had a stack of cards like an inch thick. And I was like, oh, great. These are garbage now. All oh. that hard work I did. <laughs> I was just cleaning out a ca- closet and I found a card. I'm like, oh, it was by one of my favorite store directors. I think that's Aww. why I kept it. Yeah, so. you kept it. That's yeah. why. It was, I think it was yeah. for a super good reason. I can't remember the reason now, but. And that's all he gave you. Hmm. Yeah. Great store director. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> so if, does anybody want to do like just a super quick 30 second like overview of the movie? Yeah. So I will actually just steal from IMDb. Ooh, where it okay. says okay. Um, a slacker competes with a repeat winner, yeah. employee of the month for a girl. So that's your quick <laughs> synopsis. <laughs> that was yeah. really quick. Yeah, because it really is what it's about. Basically what it comes down to. And there's a shit ton of shenanigans everywhere in between. And what I also noticed that my daughter and I watched it today, actually, I wanted to make sure it was fresh, fresh. in my mind, is that the one who plays Dane Cook yeah. really wants to be Dak Shepard because yeah. he's the right. He's the repeat monthly winner, mm-hmm. the employee of the month to get the girl. Because that was the whole thing was she sleeps with the employee of the month. Yeah, yeah. Right. Or she dates the employee of the month. So he wants to have Jessica. Simpson, yeah, right. Yeah. So he wants to be Dax, but then really later on, Dax really wants to be Dane Cook, yeah, and be a slacker, yeah. And then he wants, yeah, he just wants yeah. to be like the cool guy with yeah. the wheelies and the, you know, they finish each other's sentences and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. I thought that was funny because yeah. it starts off with the one wanting to be, and then they both really wanted to be each other, and it was like that didn't work out at all. It was <laughs> the heartwarming part of the comedic <laughs> movie. Yeah, I guess, I guess. <laughs> But I mean, and then we were just talking about this, like you cannot do 99% of right? the stuff that they do in the movie. You can't say they that kind of stuff so anymore. Much stuff. And then, yeah, you can't right? do any of that without losing your job or having like, yeah. We were arrested. talking about because uh, they say the other word for like mentally mm-hmm. challenged. They say the R word a couple times yeah. in it. You cannot say that I don't even like anymore. saying mentally challenged. I don't no. even know what to I mean, call it anymore without yeah. getting canceled <laughs> we we just had that on another episode and uh we gave like a hey this movie was a mockumentary and they said things that aren't necessarily appropriate yeah um, yeah but it is in the vein of the movie and so right. we may say something um mm-hmm. and that's sort of similar with this movie it's not a mockumentary but it was made in a time where people said stuff in movies that things were acceptable were different things. aren't okay per se yeah yep but yep they said it and we all you know, said I, it i mean come on we did yeah. when we were kids you know i i did not i did not it was something in our family that you just oh. didn't use that word well but, yeah so we, i just never yeah. heard it but we said other things like you know all the other words so, <laughs> yeah. was sucks dirty for you yeah. in your house sucks yeah, and my mom still doesn't like the F word, so I make sure I do it in front of her. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, my, my mom angry. hate it. She she didn't really care what we said, but she didn't like the word sucks. Oh, <laughs> like, God, that sucks. I went to my dad's house for a summer, and my grandma there let us say crap. And oh. I came home and said crap, and oh, <laughs> that was not good. <laughs> not good. You Can I also your mention? Your mother is mad yeah. at the word crap. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Believe it or not, my mother trucker does not swear very <laughs> oh, often. She is just yeah. the sweetest person. She really is. Yeah. 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 Um, before we keep talking about the movie, too, I want to mention that Dane Cook is getting married this Saturday. Really? Weird. To Kelsey Taylor. I don't yeah. even know who Kelsey Taylor is. I yeah, have to she's that. super, super young. beautiful. She is super young. They've been together for a very long time, though, I think. Well, yeah. I mean, you're at least over, what, five or six? You mean a very long time for, like, Hollywood? Well, for someone that... <laughs> Was 12, five or six <laughs> years ago, I guess. Wait, who is it? Kelsey who? Kelsey Taylor. Yeah. K E L S I Taylor. Film super director. Young. A writer and director who strives to tell stories. Can I see a picture? Yeah. Uh, no. I don't know if don't that's her. She has real dark hair. Her. Oh, I thought she yeah. was a model. I, did, yeah, I think, I she, yeah. Yes. She has real dark hair. Maybe look up Dane Cook and Kelsey Taylor. But yeah, I just so happened to look him up because I 
we follow him on TikTok, mm-hmm. or actually, he just comes up a lot on our oh, TikTok. K E L S I. That's yes, why. Correct. Okay. Um, and it's it just said that they're getting married this Saturday. So, uh, Jane Cook knows his relationship with a woman twenty six years his junior. Oh, yeah. there we go. Wow. Hmm. How long have they been together? They've been together for five uh, years. An yeah. Appropriate yeah. amount of time for her yeah. age. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. It's not not good. <laughs> also, I mean, my uh, husband's 14 years older than me, so I can't say nothing. Yeah, but did you meet him before you uh, were Not when I was 14, age? no. <laughs> <laughs> no. I like Dane Cook, but I was like, oh, dude, that's a bad look, bro. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not good. What did I say about Dak Shepard? Because everybody mm-hmm. refers to... Um, Kristen Bell. Everybody refers to Dax Shepard mm-hmm. as Kristen Bell's husband. Yeah. So I always say, who is that girl that's married to Dax Shepard? <laughs> right. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know, I because we Dax need to show Shepherd. him some love too. <laughs> yeah. I, I love Dax Shepard. I remember him from um, his days on MTV on Punk. Oh, God. Oh. I don't remember him then. He was the main guy uh, that punked like everybody for the first like, two uh, seasons or so wow. you know what yeah. i did just see a tiktok and i was because they were punking um justin bieber and i was like how did he not know that that's dax shepherd you know yeah oh wow yeah. that was a, a while ago it man. was a while yeah. ago yeah. yeah but that's crazy because i like Funny. i always knew him from that and so you know now now he's an actor I think my favorite movie with Dax Shepard is Chips. <laughs> oh. I love his character in that movie. He wrote it and produced it, I believe. Did he? Mm-hmm. Oh my God. It was, I love, like, anytime I come across that movie, I will watch it. I love that movie. Mm-hmm. You never seen it? Well, you know, it's a remake of the old TV show, Chips. I, is. I only watched Employee of the Month today because we were <laughs> meeting with Sarah tonight. Meredith so we all know I movies. don't watch movies very good. I love him in Without a Paddle. Yeah. That movie is That hilarious. was a good movie, too. I love Seth Green also. Yes. So he's yes. like a piece of my childhood, I feel like, from like Austin Powers. And mm-hmm. I shouldn't say childhood, more like early adulthood, teenage years. Right. I love Seth Green. Yeah. Me, too. <laughs> Um, so the first thing I noticed in this movie is time cards. Did you guys ever have the actual time card? Yes, I never did. Well, that's a lie. That's a lie. Maybe my first job, but we didn't punch it. We just wrote on it. Okay. Yes. Yeah. We didn't punch it either. We didn't have a time. I think that was before my time, I think, or just, I just didn't work where we had to punch it, but definitely wrote it in. Yeah. We had a, um, uh, a card swiper. And I had a code. Yeah. I, I believe I remember those, but I don't remember having like an actual punch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I think a lot of times, well, work in retail, we would always punch in at the register. Mm, you put in your yeah. employee number, you know, hit enter, whatever. Or you'd yeah. punch you know. in with your badge. Yeah. 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 Cause I think <laughs> when I worked at the base, I, I kind of remember doing audits on uh, people's punches and I, but I can't remember how we did it. <laughs> But yeah, I remember, right, like, right. going through this like long sheet and I was like, I, yeah. don't, I don't remember how it was done, but yeah. well, we would always have to fix punches, right? Like, Oh, my card wasn't swiping. It wouldn't right. let me in. I couldn't get my fingerprint to read, you know? <laughs> so yeah, you always have to fix it for him. It or it says I'm late, blood. but I was really there. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't yeah. get my blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, I don't know why. And I love that they, uh, that was like the first thing I noticed. And then the next thing was he slid open a box and gave it to the kid for yeah. a discount. And I was like, uh, is that a thing? Like, I was just talking about that with Meredith's husband upstairs. Cause we were talking about how they steal the candy bars yes, to give to HR, to get yeah. her file, to see what she's all about, you know? And I was like, what the, like the whole movie if you've seen the movie, the whole movie ends with stealing, right? Yeah. Like that's what ruined employee of the month for mm-hmm. the, the winner of employee of the month was stealing basically. But they stole during the whole damn movie. Well, I guess at their place, they must have like a rule that you can have it. If you're an employee, if it's, if broken. it's broken. Yeah. That's the only thing yeah. I could, like dented or not, you know, yeah. 
for consumption, I guess. That yeah. is so let's not go through this. how most places were in. No, yeah, no. Dane Cook steals the motorcycle, the yeah. mini, the yes. mini bike, the mini bike. <laughs> they steal time on the uh-huh. time card yeah. because yeah. his friend helps him when oh. he accidentally shows up late on the last day. Hey, yeah. hey, Meredith, your manager is showing. Just yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you can't. She can't help it. She works in like HR corporate America. <laughs> You're stealing Butterfingers. Yeah. Cracking those, giving them to HR. You're reading people's papers. Like, what did they, what did they call it when they were looking at Jessica Simpson's uh, oh, file? File, yeah, her personal file. You're stealing that <laughs> HIPAA. HIPAA. <laughs> you're uh, you're talking about the box being slashed. Oh gosh. Plus, when they were in their fort, they're like drinking beer and eating, right? And putting together a model right? airplane. And the whole movie is about theft. They That's stole really a- everything. That should have been the subnot. Subnot. I can't even say it. Synopsis. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Theft is about theft. <laughs> My manager is showing. <laughs> I think that was hilarious. I think you need to come on more often. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> That's my goal. Um, yeah, like, I I know at Walgreens and Target, even if it's damaged, you have to count it out of your inventory. Right. And once you do that, you still can't just, like, give it to someone. No. Uh, right. Because we used to have, um, where our trash dumpster was outside, people would break into it and my manager would be really mad about it. And I'm like, yes. it's trash. Who and they're cares? Like, but they're yeah. taking yeah. stuff out of the trash. And I'm like, Who cares? Let them have it, man. Trash. Like, you know, and that's like lately, like you see somebody feeling like, no, you don't. <laughs> right. yeah. Like we don't, we are not on corporate America's side anymore. <laughs> no. Mm-mm. Well, okay. Especially I, if it's baby formula. <laughs> okay. I, I did do that my manager was showing the other day um i went to hobby (laughs) lobby and this lady was checking out and she was in front of me and she had a little girl with her and she put all of her stuff on the counter except for this bag of candy i thought maybe her daughter took it so i was like oh Oh. hey you still have your candy there and she was like what i was like "The, the candy is right there and she was just like oh i bought that before Oh, God. Okay. All right. Well, if you bought it before, then why didn't you open it to give it to your kid? Why didn't yeah. you just wait to buy it after? Oh, why like, isn't it in a bag with a receipt, yeah. lady? But whatever. I just thought just her you, like, kid was trying there. to steal, you know? What did, the ca- what did the cashier say? Anything? No? no. But when she left, I was like, I think that lady was mad at me. <laughs> 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 she just looked at me. <laughs> I was like, I used to be a manager, so I just was trying to help. <laughs> so yeah oh that's so funny I'm a hypocrite. <laughs> that's all right that's all right <laughs> um can i talk about another character that i really loved in the movie is pedro from napoleon dynamite oh <laughs> <laughs> napoleon yes. dynamite was one of my favorite movies ever i remember my nephew got me one year for christmas it was a keychain and it had the little buttons and it would say different things like, gosh, you know, and like, I need my chapstick. My lips hurt real bad. I watched that movie so many times mm-hmm. when I was younger and I will still watch it to this day. I had vote the for Pedro so uh, yeah. shoelaces. Oh, oh, amazing. <laughs> Julia dressed up as Napoleon Dynamite oh for gosh. Halloween. I, I'll send you a picture. That Sarah. is yes. so funny. It's, it's good. It's I good. thought. I thought it was Julia's real hair. I'm like, did she <gasps> curl her hair like that? And Meredith's like, it's a wig. And I was like, she could totally pull off hair like that. <laughs> and she's Looks sitting great. with her arm up with the shirt on. I'll send you a picture. It's so it's fantastic. <laughs> you guys and go I think all out, man. It. For Halloween. We do go all out. Yeah. We do go all out yeah. for Halloween. Yeah, we love We it. try as long as I'm not sick. Do you, do you guys know what you're going to do this year? Yes, because we have our costumes from last year. Because she was sick, we couldn't go out oh, yeah. last year. Yeah, mm-hmm. I've been yes. sick for last three Halloween. Yeah, haven't gone out for last four. Yeah, so mm-hmm. hopefully this year she will go out. So we're gonna do hocus pocus. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. My grandma made me my outfit last year, and I didn't even get to wear it. Yeah, so pretty exciting. Yeah, so. that is exciting. I, I yeah. don't know what I'm gonna be, but D- like two years ago, I went as plus size Barbie. I've done oh, that before amazing. too. Yeah, I love plus size Barbie. Yeah, and I was like, "Well, I can't really do that now. Everybody's going to be Barbie." Oh, everybody's going to be yeah. Barbie this year. Yeah, you know what? And I said last year too, when before I got sick, 
I was like, we shouldn't even be the Sanderson sisters. We should look at, oh my God, we should be people <laughs> dressed up as the Sanderson sisters. Because that's what all Hocus Pocus do was everybody in the movie was dressed up as the Sanderson yeah. sisters. So it's like, we're not the Sanderson sisters. We're people dressed up like the Sanderson yes. sisters. Yeah, right, right. I love it. Um, so did you guys ever do closing announcements? Um, well, Christmas. Yeah. Did we? Because we worked at a 24-7, 365. Oh, yeah. Well, 364. Christmas night was, or Christmas Eve at 7 p.m. Mm. I think we would close and we didn't open again until the day after Christmas at 6 a.m. But <laughs> the overnight shift had to work that whole time. Yeah. Yeah. I loved, I don't know if you heard it, but like in the first part after he gives that kid the toy in the background, you can hear the closing announcement and he's like, we're closing in five minutes. So please leave in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or something so similar awesome. to that. And I was like, oh, that'd be great to say. Yeah. I I hated closing, especially working at a 24 hour store. People would get so mad because we would put people at the door to not let anybody else in. You know, they would only let people out. I only need one thing. And it's like, well, maybe you should have thought about that before Christmas Eve at 7 p.m. You know, like, I don't I don't know if you want us to feel bad, but we don't feel bad. (laughs) Yeah. um, You guys have talked about this, I'm sure. But. Um, I hated working Christmas day and it's not because I wasn't home with my family and that's part of it. But I hated when people would be like, Oh, I'm so sorry. You're here. Well then don't buy your batteries the day of (laughs) buy them the day before buy your frozen freaking pizza the day before. I know if people would stop shopping on those days, Mm -hmm. the stores would stop being open on those days. And you want to know what really ticks me off when the pharmacy is closed? Like we're a pharmacy. Yeah. Why is the pharmacy closed? Yeah. They're Mm -hmm. the most important part to this whole business. Oh Oh, yeah. yeah. Cause you said Walgreens, they are open 365. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Except for the pharmacy, they Mm -hmm. would get the day off. Yep. What a bunch of jackasses. (laughs) (laughs) Assholes. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) and now okay so in the movie they have a cashier's lounge did you guys have a cashier's lounge no we had a break room and it was very dirty and gross and it definitely had dented cans not good right (laughs) i'm shocked you even had dented cans because yeah yeah. um some that was only if they gave us a pizza party yeah (laughs) yeah and i love that you morale here's your pizza party yeah yeah I love that if you were a box boy, you couldn't go into the cashier's lounge. So it was like they mocked them. Uh-huh. You know, Dex Shepard would go to walk in and he'd be like, Amy! Like, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. then Dane Cook would have to, and Pedro would have to be out outside. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. 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 But if they were yeah. so important, then why are they replaced by robots and machines? Yeah. Uh, just yeah, I know. Yeah. It's so funny. Well, I, I would like to bring up that you actually do see Kirkland brand in mm-hmm. that yes. movie. Mm-hmm. And that yeah. is Costco. Yep. Yeah. And they do still have real people there checking you out. Because you guys have Aldi in Texas. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. They started putting self checkouts in Aldi. Wow. So it's kind of a joke on TikTok how fast people are yeah. doing their checkout. Like how all the uh, cashiers are so fast at the way they do it. So now people that are going up to the self checkout are going real fast <laughs> and throwing it in a box and it's going all over the place. It's, it's like so they find a handful of shit and just like. Boop, like throw it across the scanner. I love it. Yeah, because at um, Sam's, you can just go and do it yourself. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's already only like two employees in the damn store. Right? Yeah. Oh, I hate it. Um, I was at Target today, and I think I ran into one employee. Oh, wow. And really? It was the same lady. I kept passing her. Just oh, God. <laughs> Are you sure it wasn't LP? She was making sure you didn't steal my yeah. bags of candy. No, well, she was walking around with a cart. Um, usually LP was not in Target clothes. They were oh, yeah, in that's street true. Clothes. Oh, you know, maybe they're changing it up a little like no one will suspect. That's yeah. true. Good <laughs> Now point. I just let the secret out, though. <laughs> I can always tell when LP was watching because one time um, this girl, she came in and it had rained or snowed or sleeted or something outside. And she started to walk in and she slipped 
and her <laughs> she went up really high in the air and her boots oh, no. came off and she landed and I was like, oh my God. And then <laughs> LP comes running out. And I was like, oh, I guess they're watching the cameras. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Oh, that could not have been. I always knew when LP was there because our favorite LP, our secret squirrel that we've had on the show, yeah, you would just see her like peeking <laughs> through the clothing. <laughs> She'd be crawling on the floor. If you were lucky, you'd see her up in the rafters. You know, yeah. like watching from above. You know, it was she was wild. She still is. She Did she have like patience. her own little hideout in you know by the yes. Velveeta cheese boxes up under everywhere, her everywhere, yeah, everywhere. everywhere with a little table playing cards? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> her own, her own club. Yeah, her own <laughs> cashier club. And what, uh, Semi, the um, security guard, is actually the one that found out that he was cheating on the register. Yeah, mm-hmm. so it did come down to LP at the yes, end. It did. It did. Yeah, although nobody else got busted for everything they stole. <laughs> right. <laughs> Chalk it all over her well, face. Well, <laughs> to be fair, the stuff that everybody else was stealing was broken. Damn it. Yeah. He you, was you giving correct. away good merchandise. That's yeah. True. Sold. Yeah. True. Yeah. Uh, can we also talk about, I'm sure, I know you have a list, but can we also talk about how he, if, if he didn't get it done at a certain time, then he would buy the groceries? Yeah. Oh, five minutes or five I'm buying. Five minutes or I'm buying. Yeah. Like, I've never seen that before. I would like yeah. to get into a land yeah. like that. <laughs> I you can just, buy my groceries. I'd be holding it on the belt, holding it back. My uh-huh. thing is, is uh, how long are you checking out people? It's fi- it takes you yeah, five, five minutes, minutes to check out somebody. That seems yeah, like a lot. I yeah, a I time. feel like that's a long time too. And I mean, even the lady that had four grocery carts, like she would drop one off, and we would ring it up and then suspend it yeah. and like set it to the side. So when she came with her last cart, we still we only had one cart to ring up because we oh, already rang yeah, up the right. other four, you know, yeah, or three. Could you imagine if each person took at least five minutes and you had twenty five people in your line, no. like they said no. in the movie? Sometimes it feels like that. that yeah, I think it is. It's yeah. only when people want to fill out a check. <laughs> <laughs> That's when it takes five minutes. You got a pen. <laughs> so. You don't need to fill it out. Yeah. We were just talking about that the other day. How. Uh, <laughs> Like if the power went out, you always you always uh, have to have an older person that works in the store who knows yeah. how to do the ch- ch- machine. Yeah, oh, we call it the kachunk. It's yeah. the kachunk. Like yeah. no young people know what you're talking yeah. about. Oh and my god, it was such a nightmare. Yeah, and at mm-hmm. one point I was that older person, and it, they, were, <laughs> they were like, the power went out, and I was like, that's okay. We have the machine <laughs> and, and you know exactly where it is. It's always in the same place. It and, is. Yep. And yep. With a stack of those sheets uh-huh. and you'd have to write off Carbon. their number. Yep. And, oh my God. It was such a pain in the ass. I remember you know having I mean? to do that. I would want to just be like, just walk out with the groceries right now. I don't care. <laughs> I'm just going to walk this way. You walk the other way. Walk the other way. I yeah. don't care. Just go right out the door. LP's not even here. <laughs> or I remember one person was like, um, I got this paper thing. Uh, they're trying to pay with this. This isn't money. And I'm like, it's a check. It's fine. Oh, no. It's a real wow. thing. And, you That's know, you have to teach we're them. at now. Well, wow. because you can't teach them how to do it. Like, when I first worked at Walgreens, you could put the um, the cash, the register on training, and you could actually yeah. do it. But now they don't have that ability. And so you can't, like, show them how to do a check right. until it comes right. up. And it hardly ever came up you know yeah yeah so you got that 95 year old lady <laughs> at walgreens buying her virginia slim that's all 120 <laughs> and wants 25 dollars over yeah. <laughs> to put in five christmas cards <laughs> can i get it all in five please, please. <laughs> <laughs> exactly is there any part of this movie that you guys really liked i like it all oh man <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let me look at my notes. I I think I like a lot of the Pedro and Dax parts. Mm. They're like so in love. (laughs) They are. And then because right in the beginning, it's it's Dax, um, you know, employee of the month pitcher. Yeah. And he's got the devil ears. And then it says, I love anal. (laughs) And then Pedro is Anel. (laughs) He's so confused. Who's Anel? You know? (laughs) Um, I think I like most of their scenes. Oh, I just so think it's funny. so funny. Like when they're sitting in the car, he's like, can you take me to the bus stop? He's like, no. He goes, no. can I sit here and finish this song? He's like, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like all of those, all of those scenes are just. What about, didn't they take the carts and put it around the person's car? Yeah. Scratched it all up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what were your favorites? 
Oh gosh. I love a lot of it. I can relate to, um, the one hour glasses scene the most because <laughs> I worked at, um, at Walgreens and at Target, I worked in the photo lab. And so it was oh. a one hour photo and people yeah. would be like, how long is this going to take? And I'm like an hour. They're like in about an hour. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in about an hour. And they'd be like, really? I'm like, yeah, because it's it takes, what it says, <laughs> you know, it takes a long time to develop the film and put it through and do all that crap. Um, and then they would be like, they'd come back and they would be like, um, I have pictures pick up and I'm like, okay, what's your last name? Uh, they were done like 10 minutes ago. I'm like, okay, <laughs> oh, God. what's your last name? They're like, They're, it's off a birthday party. Okay, great. You're giving me a lot of information, but you're not giving me what your last name is. And that's going to actually help me find them. A lot of information. That's not the right information. Yeah. Did that happen with your cake department? <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Um, I think the people just department. like to overshare. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. That is true. What is that cheesy movie with Sandra Bullock? Is it called Hope Floats? Yes. And she goes on to a show. Uh-huh. Finally, you name a movie that I haven't seen. <laughs> Mark it on the calendar. <laughs> she goes on the talk show and finds out her husband mm-hmm. is with her best friend. So she goes back to a town. And who's the? I'm sorry. Who's the co? Um, he's a singer too. Yeah. Um, yes. Harry Connick Jr. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And you guys are good. So she, Sandra works at a one hour mm-hmm. and, and the older gentleman that runs the shop says, and the ones that are the CD pictures, we make copies of those and put them here in this drawer. <laughs> yeah. That's what it reminds me of. <laughs> yeah. It reminds me of the movie one hour photo with, uh, oh, <laughs> Robin, Robin Williams. 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 I'm Stop. like, because, you know, I see the photos and people will come in and I want to talk about it. Like if they went on a trip or something and then I'm like, I'm Robin Williams right now. Yeah. And my, I don't think I even, I don't think I finished that movie. I couldn't do it. Yeah. It's a good movie. It was too breaks into our house and stuff, right? Yeah. It was mm-hmm. too creepy. I couldn't do it. So working at one hour photo, do you actually look through all the photos? Oh yeah. We see everything. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Wow, I should have known that. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Years no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just like uh, people would come and plug in their phone and they'd be like, it's da- it, oh, wait, it's downloading everything. And I'm like, yeah. yeah that's, that's what, what it, it does. does. Shouldn't yeah. Have, shouldn't have put some. I'm like, well, yeah. we have an app. You can just order them through the app. Yeah. Yeah. So then they're you like, all to- my dick pics are on there <laughs> now. <laughs> I actually love the app. I've printed a few things. From the, for the clopin. Oh. Not dick pics. For the clopin. <laughs> no, not the dick pics. For our picks. sign. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> no. Um, so <laughs> one thing that I thought was really funny, and I know you guys can relate, is corporate's coming. And oh, they're not God. doing like a mad dash to clean. Oh, is, no. Is I hate it so much. Does? I hate it so much. I even, I still to this day, I've said it a million times and I'll say it again. Just in case any corporate people ever listen to any of our shows, if you want to really know how shit works, randomly walk in on a Tuesday afternoon. Yes. Do not announce your visit. Yeah. Do not let anybody know where you're mm-hmm. going. Just go and see because there's all this bullshit. You know, the stores that I work at now, they will literally pull managers from yeah. five yes. surrounding stores. Yes. They will overproduce a bunch of shit to mm-hmm. make everything look full. Mm-hmm. No, it's so stupid. And then this poor store will have to underproduce for the next two weeks. So their shrink numbers aren't out yeah. of control. Otherwise, they'll get yelled at. Well, it's not my fault that the CEO wanted to come mm-hmm. here and we had to make 8,000 cupcakes, you know? It's yeah. so ridiculous. Oh, I hate it. We had that happen that our big boss, big boss was coming and all the managers from all the different stores came to yeah. my store, which is fine. And they started cleaning and working. And then the manager decided to go to a different store. So then yeah. they all dropped what they were doing yep. and left and went to a different store. And they were yep. mid projects. It was yeah. a fucking disaster yeah oh, then you're left imagine. with the chaos yeah yeah and then we had to and nobody to help it. and it was christmas yeah. time you of know what it was. and maybe that maybe that guy was smart maybe he did that on purpose yeah 
fuck these guys. I want to see what's really going on. Yeah, yes. maybe. Maybe. He's like, I told them I was going to Milwaukee. I'm going to go to Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> That's how they should do it. Um, it is exactly how they should do it. Yeah. Like, re- if you really want to know, and don't announce it like a week before. Like, right. literally tell them, hey, it's it's 5 o'clock. Tomorrow at 8 a.m. I'm coming to your store. Just yeah. a surprise. <laughs> Yeah. I wouldn't even do that. I would just show up. Yeah, just show like, up. Like, no, no, nothing. Nobody gets told anything. That's, yeah. I would base, if I was a CEO, I would be a secret shopper. Mm-hmm. I would be a secret shopper and that's how I'd fix all my problems and that's how I would retain employees. Exactly. Because you would see how shit really happens. Mm-hmm. Because all that happens from them preparing that way is it's a mirage to the CEO that everything is running smooth. Yeah. When everybody's understaffed and it's not working the way that they're producing labor or giving labor or deciding how much labor Mm -hmm. is given. It's just, it's a shit show. So they really, if I was a CEO, I would be a secret shopper and I would go in. Nobody would even know who I was, you know? Yeah. And I would walk around and see how things worked out. Like that show Mm -hmm. undercover boss. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So what kind of time frame do you think there was when Big Brother came corporate yeah. and him letting him know? Because I felt like the time frame was very like it was like your brother's here. And, yeah. then, well, and then he showed up. Remember, because he was supposed to come for the banquet. Only. Right, yeah. right, yeah. right. And then he showed up at the beginning of the day. So there, like, I don't think there was any time. Here? Like no. you mentioned yeah. cleaning. Yeah. Like I yeah. feel like there was only a few minutes. Like he's in he's in the parking lot. Yeah. Basically. yeah. But I'm and still I love surprised when he walks in. that they didn't like yes. weren't running around like crazy. That's why I'm wondering yeah. if they didn't do that because yeah. it, it the time frame was like uh, he's here. He just pulled up. You know, there was no time <laughs> well, to do as anything. You can see from the movie, like you know, once everybody stepped up their game, spills were cleaned up immediately. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> they were <laughs> mopping. Children pieces. were found. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, you know, the kid so, with the red shirt that was yeah. hitting everybody with the tennis balls. Yeah. He was knocked out. Yeah. So exactly. everything, was, when everything was there. done perfectly once everybody stepped up their game. Yeah. And um, I like when he, you guys oh, have experience with scanning products. So yeah. do mm-hmm. you think you could scan a bag of dog food like five absolutely uh, aisles not. away? <laughs> no, absolutely no. Not. No. If anything, you're going to blind somebody that walks right. in the way of the laser Like scanner. the kid, the kid that they blind. Yeah. <laughs> what was he doing? He was getting something. Yeah. He was on the Off ladder. The <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I was it like, that off. would never happen. Yeah, no. They don't even work. I mean, well, how many how many feet do you think they go? Like three? Not no, even. not even. Not even. like four inches, maybe. Yeah. And it all depends. You gotta pull your hand back and yeah. forth and back and forth and try to get it right. You know, we, me and Mare, cashiered before they had the wireless scanner. Right. Me too. So yeah. people would be like, Yeah, I got water under the cart. I'd be like, Okay, wheel that shit over here. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Lift it up for me. Let's my, go. My cashier machine is not a mind reader. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, I will say there was our, our one cashier, Jen, right? And she knew every single case of water and probably case of soda, <laughs> the UPC by heart. Oh, wow. She would be like, oh, you got a case of Ice Mountain Spring Water? Do, 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 do. You know, like she what didn't even talent. need the scanner. What a talent. She yeah. worked there for like 15 years. Mm-hmm. Where did she move? I think she moved to Florida finally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I still know what bananas are. Four zero well, everybody one knows one. bananas are 401. Yeah. yeah. Throw a nine in front if you want organic. There you go. Yeah. That's the, that's the only broccoli? thing I retained from all of that. Come on. 4025? <laughs> 4082, I believe. Oh, no. Oh. I could be wrong. Somebody tell me if I'm wrong. 4082, um, isn't that broccoli? <laughs> I'm sure you're right. <laughs> Probably. Everybody go remember, check real quick. I remember random ones. Um, right. Six, six, one. Grapes were 40, 32. Yeah. Those so were green grapes. One thing that um, I thought was really funny and I knew Cass would enjoy is we lost Janet. Where is she? Yeah. She passed away <laughs> last night. So she's not coming in. <laughs> I was That's like, freaking great. Yeah. I was like, oh, dear God in heaven, rest her soul. Okay, what are we doing? What do we do? Uh, how do we replace her? What do you mean she's not coming in? <laughs> like, that is how it feels sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. In retail, <laughs> you're like, so they're not coming in? They lost a foot? So yeah. they're not going to be here tomorrow for their shit? <laughs> hmm. 
I love later on when he's like, and then we lost Janet on Iowa. They're like, oh my God. No, no, no. It's actually, what was it, Mary? Mary on, you know, Cash Lane 3 or something. They're like, oh, thank God. <laughs> They're like, oh, whew. apparently nobody <laughs> likes Janet on 3. <laughs> I'm poor Janet. Yeah, jeez. She died and everybody hates her. Yeah. <laughs> They'd have been way ahead of their time if they would have named her Karen instead of Janet. Right. <laughs> right. You know. <laughs> I mean, everybody had a Janet that they worked with, right? Like a Janet. Yeah. Like, ugh. I totally yes. just thought of a cashier named Janet. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. She yeah. didn't take crap from anybody. Yeah. No. Mm-mm. Ironically, no. my friend worked with a Janet um, at Walgreens, and now she's a, a manager at the place we work at now. <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> That's funny. Full circle. Um, I do like running into people like now because I work at a totally different chain of stores. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I run into people that I used to work with and they're like, oh my God, Cass. And I'm like, shit, what's this girl's <laughs> name? Damn. Yes. Hey, yes. Hey, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God everybody wears name badges, right. you know? Like, yeah. And it, it does feel good because they're always excited to see me. Yeah. And that makes me feel like I was a decent boss, you know? True. But like you think for 10 years, I mean, not the whole 10 years I was running the front end. I worked, you know, I started out as a cashier and then I worked my way up to the supervisor of the front end. Yeah. I had 75 employees at that time, you know, and then I Oof. moved out to the gas station where I only had like eight. So that was a lot <laughs> easier to maintain names. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. Um, You both are married, so you might understand this lady, the coffin lady. <laughs> <laughs> when she <laughs> needs help because she's buying a coffin and he's like oh, murdering your husband. waiting for me out in the, oh, in the car the and who knew you could buy a coffin like that right, right? can you really buy a coffin I at you can. Probably. I heard you can order it from Costco and you can also order them on Amazon and she was picking up a real like plain one too right oh, oh, yeah. it was well, shiny it's but sale. I mean you know, nothing fancy what are you gonna do <laughs> But I love that that's how it turned the tide for old Dane Cook. (laughs) Yes. Yes. Well, let me know if you need help marrying or uh, killing your husband or something, murdering your husband. (laughs) (laughs) I love Dane Cook. Is that supposed to be his mom or his grandma? His grandma. grandma. His grandma, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I like her. (laughs) What's my password? She's like, one, two, three, four. Now we got (laughs) to. I like when she's giving him a speech about going out with just. And she's yeah. like, just plant the seed of love. Yeah. And then she's like, but don't forget to wash your balls. <laughs> <laughs> Most importantly, don't, don't forget to wash your, your balls. That should I'm, be I'm hoping that episode. people have seen this movie before they're listening. Because we really have a lot I of spoilers know. on yeah. here. Oh, on yeah. Your yeah. Right here. We're, a, we're a spoiler podcast. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you listen before you watch us, you're bad. Yeah. Because right from the get go, I mean, just you should know whether or not you want to watch it before you listen. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And can I just mention real quick, no. Sarah, that <laughs> <laughs> if this is your first time listening to Two Chicks Talking Flicks, you have to listen to the Cats review. Oh. <laughs> that like one? Cats, the movie? They Did you watch the live or the Broadway or yeah, the movie? the um, live action Cats. The live action, okay. Yeah. It is the best for me, in my opinion, episode. <gasps> I was running. I, so I, I, I know Sarah knows this. Every yeah. Friday morning, I run and listen to her episode. Yeah. And I, I know the drivers are, <laughs> that were going past me were like, what is this lady doing <laughs> laughing so hard? And it was, it was that episode. So I if you've never watch, listened before, go back and listen to that one after this one. I used to watch Cats when I was a kid. Like, you will, the Broadway. You, you have to listen to Sarah's yeah. um, episode on it. It is, it's, it's very funny. I used to watch that and the live, like, Broadway version of Peter Pan all the Ooh. time. I could picture what you were talking about. It was just, yes, well, go back and you. listen to that one. Yeah. Yeah, that's a real shit show of a movie. <laughs> 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 uh, I wanted to see the new one. I haven't seen the new one. That's the that one they just really listen, You know what? You know what's funny is listen to the review and then go watch the movie. And I then go watch it. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Because I know yeah. the movie. I mean, or yeah. the play. I would, I would listen to the episode first. Yeah. Yeah, right. for sure. I'll do that. I'll do that. Yeah. Um, 
let's see here. So eight ball loses his job because yeah. he's not there in his department. And all I could think is, do these people not understand that they could just grab an item and like hit the road? They don't have to have someone help them. Like how Wasn't often it just on like extension cords or something? Yeah, like how often do you walk into a store and you're like, uh, I can't grab anything. I need an employee. Like, um, yeah. I'm gonna speak up and say apparently a lot of people <laughs> that way. <laughs> that aisle was so packed. I would have just left. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know, me and Meredith were just talking the other day about like helping elderly people that are kind of in the mark carts and whatnot, yep, yeah. you know? Yep. My sister recently dislocated her shoulder. So she's shopping mm. and this old lady says, oh my gosh, can you help me reach that? And then she goes, oh, you're having issues of your own. Let's see if we can find somebody to help both of us. <laughs> Aww. Aww. My sister goes, I still got a hand. I can get you your can of soup, you know? <laughs> That's cute. That's all she thought though. That's so sweet. Yeah, it was sweet. They're so really about together. that part, Dane Cook was supposed to work for him. Yeah. But yeah. then Dane Cook ended up being, you know, I'm throwing quotes up here, the hero of the game. Yes. Yeah. But somehow, the uh, I'm sorry, what's his name again? Eight Ball. Who, who's Eight Ball. <laughs> got was like fired, the old even guy. though him and Dane <laughs> Cook swapped. Yeah. So again, my manager's coming out for safety purposes. How come yeah. they didn't know that they swapped? And because, Abel get. Do you well, think they kept track of any sort of thing there? No, not at all. <laughs> it it wasn't all. that they switched shifts. They were both supposed to be working. Uh, he was just oh, going to cover his area yeah. for him. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. I've seen yeah. it yeah. 20 times and I, yeah. I have to go back and watch that part. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that they had swapped and I'm like, what? I yeah. never understood that. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Thanks, movie yeah, review. I thought they swapped too. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But that yeah. was, then I was like, well, they're never going to fire Dane because he just won the game for them. Right. So they got to fire somebody yeah. because people were complaining. Yeah. And I did, swore it was all about just a, a cord. They were talking about a cord or something. But who knows? Maybe credit, I just completely. To his credit, he was like told he was going to the baseball game. I mean, yeah. Yeah. what was he to do? Yeah, yeah, right. He had to save the game. Yeah. Um, otherwise, uniform. people wouldn't like him. Exactly. And yeah, they were looking for an extension cord. That's the guy who um, got mad and complained. He was looking for an extension cord and couldn't find anybody. And I was like, you couldn't find another employee? There was like nobody there that day? Yeah. Seems weird. And in 2006, there were a lot of people working in retail. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, That was good. I mean, never, yeah, I guess you need nine players to play, right? So against Maxi Mart. Yeah. Maxi Mart. And they had a lot of employees. So, yeah. yeah, because they're when they're so- all gathered, because Amy's coming, Justice Simpson, <laughs> and there's like so many of them, and they're like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, let's give her a good whatever, Mark, blah, 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 welcome, you know, and they're like, yeah, super club. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Uh, like, That's how I was at the meeting. I love how they were like, um, you're too hot to look <laughs> to work here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get that all the time. It's just so annoying. Right? Me too. It's just a bunch of old people that work here and then not very smart people that work here. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, have you ever had like the hot guy that worked there, even though like normally he wouldn't be hot, but because okay. he was the most yeah. attractive guy, he was hot. Okay. <laughs> I talked about this with one of my male coworkers one time and he was like, and excuse my language, but he was like, I can't believe the amount of pussy I get here. <laughs> He's like, it's never in my life have I had this much available to uh-huh. me at one time. And I was like, dude, you're in a sea of women, like yeah. young girls, older women, like everything. So yeah. it was because he was the nicest looking person at the store. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Maybe and maybe not even, but he was the nicest looking person on that shift. Yeah. Right. Oh. You always got your shift. Yeah. You were either a morning, an afternoon mm-hmm. or an overnighter. And then, you know, you'd switch between afternoon and morning, whatever, you know, but there was a lot of people that they only worked second shift or they only worked yeah. first shift, you know? Unlike so it was like us clopeners. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Because we were like, yeah, great. Sure. I'll, help. I'll do anything. What do you need from me? Yeah, I'll do it all. But yeah, there were some people that, you know, 
because this guy did work another job during the day. He was just working here a couple days a week for some extra money, whatever. Mm-hmm. And yeah, he was like, oh my God, I've never had just wow. so much thrown in my face. <laughs> a lot of desperate retail work. And I didn't think he was very good looking. So. Well, you know, when he's the hottest game in town, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's a girl to uh, do? Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, is there anything else about this movie that sticks out to you guys? Or that you love? Yes. My favorite. <laughs> yeah. I'm so happy you asked, Sarah. <laughs> My favorite thing in every movie that I watch, which is only about a handful of them, is the fast music, slow walking mm. scene. Mm-hmm. So they, right? They listen. <laughs> it's the slow mo walking yeah. with like the fun club music. <laughs> yeah. So Dane Cook, they whistle, right? Because he, they all think he quits. And yeah. at the end, him and his friend and the guy with the glasses, and, you know, they start walking slowly, the four of them, mm-hmm. and they walk real cool. Of and course. I'm just like, want to be them. <laughs> <laughs> they just look so cool. And Dane Cook's got a cool, like, walk. And, you know, well, you just need to start carrying a boombox with you, I guess. Eight ball looks cool. <laughs> like, I'm back. You know, or what? I don't know if eight ball was there. Yeah, he was, right? They were all there. I, I, that is my favorite type of scene. Well, <laughs> I now, will rewatch that over and over again just for that reason. Now that we so know funny. what your next photo shoot should be. You guys pushing oh a cart gosh. with a fire, Whoa. like a car on fire in the back. <laughs> yes. Looks super cool. He knows us. Yeah. He knows us. Yeah. yeah. What about you? Make that happen. What's your favorite? Uh, my favorite was Dane Cook on the wheelies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. You did say that. What about the date in the store? Would that ever happen? Yeah, I hope you. Was that your favorite? The no, best chicken no, parmesan. Just, oh. The best chicken parmesan she's ever had. <laughs> How about uh, the opera singer? That's really cute. That was cute. Yeah. I just, I was like, um, how did he get the keys? Like, was there not an alarm? How did this happen? I feel like that store was never locked, <laughs> never counted. Never prepared, but never underprepared. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> it was just pure chaos at that store. As long store, as the, the pallets were time. dropped, they were good. Yeah, you know, like, there's product for people to buy. It was fine. When they did their inventory, they must, you know, their numbers had to have been insane. <laughs> they were like, where did yeah. all the beer go? Where did all the Butterfingers go? <laughs> yeah, and like, where did all the chicken Parmesan go? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we're missing a 50cc dirt bike <laughs> and a Merlot box. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Uh, The one other thing I had on my list was the cashier talking about the items. Ding, or not Ding Cook, Dak Shepard. Every time he would scan something, he was like, oh, someone's treating themselves. (laughs) Oh, you couldn't. All this lotion, you're really going to, like, I don't even remember what he said. I was like, okay, you can talk about one item, but you can't talk about every item. Meredith someone's gonna that. pamper themselves tonight mm-hmm. yeah that's what he said with the lotion Meredith's had that though where she goes to the checkout and they're like oh what is this is it good oh and you buy this brand do you like this brand better than this brand mm-hmm. oh my gosh and you got grapes green and red <laughs> you hussy <laughs> yeah. have you ever seen the target lady on on SNL yeah. No. God, I haven't watched SNL oh, in God, so long. No. So this was when Kristen Wiig was on all the time. Oh. You have to, like, YouTube the Target Lady. There's two episodes specifically, but one of them is with Justin Timberlake. It is oh, God. the funniest, funniest <laughs> thing ever. Um, See, and- I, watched, I watched SNL when, when Dana Carvey... <laughs> Was the church lady. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's my era of mm-hmm. SNL. Yeah. Was that like Chevy Chase too? Like that? No. Or no, not that yeah. oh, Okay. Okay. It was, it was in like between. the early okay. 90s. It was oh, in between oh. Chevy Chase and Justin Timberlake. Sure, sure. <laughs> well, this, I only okay. watch it because she's a Target. She works at Target. Yeah. And so yeah, um, it is hilarious. Ooh. But she basically, she'll pick up some. She's like, oh, where'd you get those? And the lady's like, <laughs> oh, on this aisle. And she just drops it and walks off and goes yeah. and gets it. And it's so funny. She just does stuff like that. And oh, that's um, funny. I, I just find that really funny. But like 
when I was a kid, when I worked at the base, I rarely cashiered, very rarely. But one day they had me cashiering and uh, they, because it was on a base, they would have like this bell. If the bell went off, that means the pilots need to get to where they're going because they had to leave. And so they get priority over everybody else. So yeah. this guy was trying to get out because they had a mission and the bell went off. So I'm checking him out and the items that he has, we sold uh, dirty magazines. So we had a dirty oh, magazine. He had lotion and he oh. had batteries, like D batteries. Oh my God. And I'm like scanning his stuff. And I think he had a few other things, but I'm scanning his stuff and I'm like turning red. I'm like chuckling. <laughs> and his friend goes, <laughs> and just starts laughing and the guy's like no 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 oh no that's not no and he just he could he had no words for all of that like the friend did the friend play a trick on him no he j- he was buying it but he wasn't buying it for what it looked like he was he looked like oh. he was gonna pamper himself Sure. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you don't buy lotion, D batteries in a magazine. Yeah. And, and no. not mm-hmm. let people think that you're doing something weird to right. yourself. Right. Right. Yeah. I agree. 100%. You know, I was glad we, I never worked anywhere that sold dirty magazines or nothing. I don't think so. Yeah. No. Thank goodness. It's a real trick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Open it up. Woo, look at her. Nice. Okay. Scan it. Keep All going. the pages are sticky. What was your favorite of the movie? Did um, you mention it? Oh, goodness. I love Semi. I think he's hilarious. Yeah. And yeah. Um, I love when he's like, no, watch. And he just keeps rewinding. Yeah. Yes. He's like, watch no, I want the you oats. to watch the oats. <laughs> yes. Or he's anytime he's just inter- interacting with the people, I think it's funny. I like that he always looks like he was eating food. Like right, I told, yeah. I told like my daughter we were donut. watching the movie. Too. Yeah, I'm like, man, I really want like powdered donuts now or whatever he was eating the whole time. <laughs> powdered donuts and a Snickers. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Um. So we have to rate the movie. So oh. we rate it Ooh, okay. one out of ten. Um, okay. Ten being the best. And rated out of something from the movie. So I will, I'll go first so you can see how it goes. So I'm going to give it a seven out of 10 Dumbo ears. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are you looking at me? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Because I have to keep thinking about this. That's why. That's why I looked at her. (laughs) Um, I'm giving it an eight out of 10 because of wheelies. (laughs) <laughs> oh. I love the wheelies I always wanted those and I never got them when I was a kid I was Me so either. jealous <laughs> I never got moon shoes either um, we had something shoes. similar but it was the ball that had it looked like Saturn <gasps> and you would hug it with either. your feet and jump it boop, 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 you know anyways I never had a mm-hmm. Meredith it. what do you ring yeah. no, never had either. a it. come on no I well, I think I already mentioned it. I give it a ten out of ten clubhouses <laughs> because Club they had the clubhouse. Yeah, that's true. That's like the ultimate. Like if you could get away with that at work. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. But somebody would ruin it. Right. Yeah. Someone would tell. Stupid yeah. corporate. Because they wouldn't be invited. Yeah. Yeah. It'd it would be, be one Zach of those Shepard managers that would. Yeah. <laughs> I call it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, in like uh, we we didn't really have ever harp on Jessica Simpson, but she's terrible in this movie. Can we all agree on that? Yeah. We, yeah. Um, can we talk about how her nipples are constantly hard? <laughs> and but I just weird like, with her lips the whole time. Yes, she doesn't move her mouth when she talks, and that's yeah. weird. She, that's how she is, though. That's how she's yeah. always been. But did you notice, like every single Friends episode, it's like something from the early 2000s that every girl was required to have hard nipples. <laughs> Is there a lotion for right? that? I don't know. I think they just kept it really cold and said, yeah. you're not going to wear a bra with this shirt because we don't want the strap it's showing. It's like a Jennifer Aniston you thing know? then, right? Yeah. Wasn't she always like that? But it was all the girls. Maybe not Phoebe on Friends because no, she was no. like too conservative. But this, I was, it was like the first thing I noticed. Jennifer, or, you know, Jessica Simpson come walk in blah, blah, blah. 
Jessica Simpson comes walking in and there's her little boobies just like yeah. Yeah. the nipples make it in yeah. before she does in the room. Yes. <laughs> But yes, I agree with you, Sarah. Not not super great. No, and yeah. I, I like Jessica Simpson, but yeah, she's, yeah, she is not the best in this movie. She's Unless she was told to do it that way, just she, real kind of. Who knows? She's definitely a co-star. She is not the star of I the movie. I feel like yeah. she was a lot better in. Um, oh God, what was that movie? Where she Dukes wears Daisy Dukes? Yeah, Dukes. Yeah. <laughs> Daisy yeah. Duke, that's her name. What year was that one? Maybe she got a lot better after that. Had some more coaching. After oh, yeah. this movie. It? Okay, maybe that's Is that why. like the only two movies she's been in? I'm pretty sure. I don't think I've seen her. <laughs> Where did she start yeah, off? Music? Know. Music, right? Yeah, she's music. a singer? Yeah. Yeah. She said chicken of the sea. Is it really chicken though or is it fish? <laughs> and is I she think, the one? <laughs> I think about that sometimes. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> is she the one that also ate the... Um, Chicken wings, or who did that? Yeah, that was a big deal the, in the. She ate the that hamburger. Was her, that was, it was a oh, hamburger. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. On, somebody did on a somebody car eat in a bathing wings? suit. Oh, why is that a big deal? Because they showed that one picture of her, like in twenty, I'll say like twenty ten, and they were like, "Oh my god, she's so fat," and she right. was like a size nine, no, eight or nine. Or, and it's well, like, it how just, disgusting were we? It was unflattering angle, like. And it wasn't even bad, though. No. She's not fat. You know what I mean? Yeah. She wasn't fat. She was wearing a tank top with jeans, and her tank top was tucked in, and she had, like, a wide brown belt and, like, a pair of loose-legged jeans because yeah. that's what was in style with big square pockets. So it gave her a little front butt, yeah, maybe, yeah. that action, people even you know? That kind of stuff. But, yeah, she was so skinny, and they were like, oh, my God, she's so fat. And I'm just like, I fucking hate people. Yeah. She probably just drank water, and it was water Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right? She right? hadn't peed yet. Jeez. That's when, pe- you know, you'd see, like, the, the front of the magazine, and it'd be like, Betty White looks so old. Well, she's 99. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, come on. God bless your soul, Betty. We miss you. Right, love you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which golden girl are you? I'm Dorothy. Yeah, I'm a Dorothy. You too. know who I am. Blanche. You don't even have to ask. She's Blanche. <laughs> you don't even have to ask. What about you? Ask. So it, it's really weird. I feel like I'm a little of all of them, but I would say yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I I'm more that. of a Dorothy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if yeah. I, was any of I think we all have a little, little bit of all the golden girls in us. Definitely yeah. have a little bit. I'm, I'm a lot less Blanche. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I'm a little bit of Ma though. I could see Ma yeah, for sure. I'm a little Sophia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm not Blanche because I'm a whore. I just got a smart <laughs> mouth on me. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I'm I'm boy crazy, but I actually I have, a, I have a dog, and I call her Blanche because she's kind of an attention whore, and I call her Blanche. Great, that's amazing. Yeah, she's. I love whore. that. Well, ladies, um, where can people find you if they want to reach out and talk to you about Jessica Simpson? <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> so we are the Clopin Effect, a funny retail podcast. You can find it everywhere. You can Google it. It comes up. And then you can also find us, uh, Anxiety Makes Me Poop podcast. We are on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, um, anywhere. We have websites. Um, <laughs> Not those kind of websites. <laughs> yeah. We don't have any porn magazines. Darn so maybe you, only you won't find us there. Yeah. <laughs> but we're... Clopin Effect, you can definitely just Google it and find it. It shows up everywhere. Yeah. Do you so, have classifieds? Yeah. A Craigslist post? Yeah. No. Yes, we do. No, we don't. We don't. <laughs> no. And there will not be one anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> this has been so much fun. Yes. yes. I had a great time. So and, much fun. My uh, face hurts from laughing so I much. I know. Yay. I love it. Woo. <laughs> well, thank you, ladies, so much. I had so much fun. And uh, you can find us at Two Tricks Talk and Flicks on all platforms. And that is all. Bye. Yay. Thank you. You're welcome. This episode was produced by Two Chicks Talk and Flicks. Music was produced by Michael Girvani. If you like this episode, please like and subscribe. If you'd like to be a part of the show, have a movie suggestion, or just want to give us some love, you can email us at twochickstalkandflicks at gmail.com. Thanks, guys. Toodles.